Hi guys, it's Dave and welcome to the Wimborne Boxing Club channel. We aim to bring you at least three videos a week on boxing tutorials, boxing drills, coaches corner and every Wednesday we bring you virtual pad workouts. So if you like the sound of what we bring, why don't you click on the subscribe button below, hit the bell next to it and you'll be notified every time we post a video. Right then, let's get on to today's drill. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three fantastic exercises you can use a resistance band for that will help you with your strength and conditioning specifically for boxing. Guys, if you haven't got any resistance bands, there's a link below. Why don't you go check them out? A couple of reviews, it'll show you the price as well. So like I say, a link in the description box will take you to some resistance bands. Okay, so like I say, today we are looking at how versatile and easy these resistance bands are to use, what a great bit of kit they are, and how you can use them in a small space like your home. So let's move on to the very first exercise. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a resistance band around my legs, just above my knees. All I'm gonna do is a, a two, well what I would do is a two minute round of shadow boxing, I'm not gonna do a two minute round now, but as a two minute round of shadow boxing, working on something specific like we always tell you to in your shadow boxing. With the resistance bands, you get different elasticities, which basically means some will be harder, because um, they'll be tighter, and some like this one will be a bit lighter and a bit easier to use. So depending on what drill you're doing, will depend on what uh, resistance band that you use. Okay, so all I do is I'm in my boxing stance, and I'm just moving around, making sure that band stays nice and tight, and then when I want to, I'm just gonna throw the shots, turning through like I would normally, keeping my hands up. Making sure that every time I throw, I am rotating like I would normally. Okay, that's like I said, gonna really fire up the glutes. Great for that sort of activation. Great for a warm up. Uh, helps you again to really over exaggerate sometimes on them shots to really turn through the hips. Has a little bit of resistance right through. So that's my first exercise with a resistance band. Okay, so the next exercise is looking at retraction speed. So we need retraction speed to bring our hands back quickly to the chin for defense, but also when we're throwing combinations as well. Now I took a resistance band and I cut it. So I've got kind of one long band, but that's only because mine was a little bit shorter. You, we are about to now put these onto a post. Um, so if you've got a nice long band, uh, which is circular, you don't need to cut it. Like I said, I just did. So you want a, 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 a pole, um, something that's firm, all right, and you're gonna put your resistance band around it at chin height. Now you're gonna bring it back so it's under tension and adopt a boxing stance. Now you can do this if you want to, one punch at a time. But for a good technique, one punch at a time, and you've got the rear hand, all right? Again, good technique's the key. Now I personally like to throw the one-twos, all right? So I stand here and I throw a one-two with speed. Bah, bah. I bring it back. Bah, bah. Bah, bah. All right, what that is doing is helping, working on the muscles that really bring my hand back, bring my arm back and retract. Different ways you can do that, you can add in different punches if you want, probably a few hooks, um, just have a good play with it. It's easier to add in single punches, obviously if you've got one single band, um, or you can just hold it in one hand, then you can bring in the hooks. All right, so there's a few different things that you can do with these bands. But working on retraction speed, another good tool. So for the third and final drill, we're gonna look at working core stability with a little bit of retraction, uh, retraction speed in there as well. Um, we're gonna be doing a side plank, adding in a rear row using the resistance band. So like I say, core stability and working those retraction muscles. So again, you need a firm post, one that goes all the way down to the floor probably. Um, you're gonna attach, don't you can see that, but you're gonna attach a resistance band around it. Then you're gonna adopt the side plank, Taking one hand up into the side plank, and then you're just going to row it in, making sure that your elbow uh, brushes the side. So you don't want to flare the elbow, just brushes the side. All right, you want to be more 90 degrees than I was. You want to be 90 degrees on, and put it in. Make sure the hips don't drop. All right. Okay, so you want to do again as many like 10, 12, whatever sort of uh, sets and reps you're doing on one side, and then obviously turn over and do the other side. With any drill, you've got to make sure that you do one side and the other. The majority of these were, were obviously boxing style drills, which weren't too bad. You can swap if you're orthodox and do a sample, that's up to you. Um, but drills like that, we isolate one side, make sure you isolate the other side too. So there are my three exercises that you can do with a resistance band to help improve your sports and conditioning for boxing. There are plenty more than that. 
These are just three to get you going. If you found loads of value in what I just brought you, smash the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. I want to see you, though, on my next video. So don't you dare be clicking off YouTube just yet. Go join me on my next video, and I shall see you there. Boom.